Howdy doody and welcome to my channel. Hi guys, hope you're right today. Hope the microphone's in. Let's hope so. <laughs> hey, as I'll be doing this and I won't have any sound on there. I'm doing something different today because I want to be a bit more positive and not do a negative read. So I'm going to do what the angels want you to know. So I have Healing Light Oracle cards today and I've got daily guidance from your angels I'm going to do the healing energy oracle and I might do one of these two but I don't know yet I'm going to pull out like as I'm guided because this is how my angels have guided me to do it today so I did give these a shuffle earlier and we'll just see so I'll do them randomly like different ones out of the different packs because it'll just lighten the mood a little bit. I don't want to get stuck in the karmic energy. It might pop up, but we'll see what happens. I've got um, Native American Indian music on at the moment. I'm not going to do it on the split, guys. They're different. Oh, are they? Hang on, guys. Oh, no, that one's turned round. Why are they all messed up? I'm really finicky with my cards. So... Them ones, that's it. So they go that way. So I hope you had a good day today, guys. There's no reason I'm not putting my face on. I just want you to see the cards. And I said to you I was going to swap it up like this a little bit. Because it just makes it a bit different. But some people like it like this. And some people like it the other way. So I want to keep everybody happy. They are upside down, some of these cards. I've just noticed. But I try not to concentrate on it. My ADHD kicks in. And um, right, angels and ancestors, let's see what we've got. Oh, we've got some already. I'm just going to finish the deck off before I choose the cards. No, I didn't think some were going to come out of that one. So, I hope that music's not too loud, because sometimes it picks it up more on the microphone. Right, so, we're going to ask the angels what they want you to do. So what we've got on here is one step at a time, guys. So I'll show you the cards in a minute. Actually, I'll show you first. We've got one step at a time. And inventiveness. So the angels are asking for you to take one step at a time. So basically, you've been through a really like long road. And you have. And you saw the mountain ahead of you. And you've given it your all. So one small step at a time, you have made a lot of progress by focusing on the present moment and the task at hand. So as a result, you are regaining a good life, okay guys? So inventiveness, what they're asking you to do is have the ability just to take more control of your life. So maybe you're being a bit more creative and you've got like a more of a creative attitude. So through being creative, you can do what's best for your heart. And um, if you firmly believe that you can change like your inner and outer world by turning every thought into an action, then you can bring your life, sorry, bring light into your life. And things will come up like um, through your creativity. So if you like drawing or um, writing, anything like that, it's, it's got creativity on the inventiveness as well. So it does tally on from the one step at a time. So basically, you have, you've come really far and you have, and you, you might feel a bit exhausted, and now you're slowing down a little bit, I'm feeling. But you're still moving forward and you are still making progress. But in this present moment, you need to like have a result, because obviously you do want a better life. So the best thing to do is be creative. Even if it's like me, like dyeing your hair, changing up your clothes, Anything, if you want to change the inner you or the outer you, even in your home, if you want to change up anything in your home, and just do it now and, like, basically turn everything into action. Because it could bring a lot of light into your home as well as your life, I'm feeling, by doing this. But, um, yeah, so your angels do want you. Maybe you might want to, like, um, invent something as well. You might have been doing that for a little while. But I feel like as a result, like it says, your life will get better, and it will. So let's see what else we've got, guys. I feel a lot of you are creative, and it's good to be creative. 
because it brings out the inner you, like the real you. You might not even think you can draw or anything. And once you start, you're probably quite good at it. Right. So you need to be certain, guys, okay? So what you need to do, basically, is just listen to yourself and just confront what you need. You need to be more assertive now. And you need to be brave. And you are brave. And I feel, I feel like you're getting a lot more gentle now. But you don't have to be afraid of others anymore. And you don't. Because you respect yourself now. I feel you just expect the same respect off of others. Because you do respect other people. But just listen to yourself and confront your needs. And make sure you're getting everything you need in life. Make sure it is for you as well and nobody else. I feel this is going to be a bit like um, just working on you. What's good for you. So this is new, so bear with me because um, it's a lot different than how I normally do it. But this is how I'm guided. So if it goes well, I will do this like a few times in a week. But um, we need to get the energy a bit more uplifting now because um, it's getting a little bit of a downer, this negative energy. For me and probably for you too. Right, so you are shining now and you are... You are shining. Look at that. It's beautiful. The light's really good in here today, guys. So now your inner self is coming out, which is making you be noticeable to people. So basically, it says the city has no need of sun or moon, for the glory of God illuminates the city, and the Lamb is its light. So you're the Lamb, guys. And if you are believing in God, you are the Lamb. You're the Lamb of Jesus. And I feel you've got the whole world at your fingertips. And you are rising higher now. And you are. You may be an earth sign on this, I'm feeling. And you're getting a lot more grounded than what you used to be. But yeah, shine your inner light. Just be who you want to be. Create who you want to be. Like I said, just create a new you. Even what you're wearing. You might be going out a bit more as well, I'm feeling. But yeah, you are, listen, the city has no need of sun and moon for the glory of God illuminates the city and the lamb is the light. So God's illuminating you basically because you are the lamb. Now I just heard how many people tried to sacrifice the lamb. They didn't get very far, did they? Where you've been patient, guys, it's going to be its own reward and it is because you've taken your time in like bettering yourself, I feel. And that's what's going to be good for you. It's the fact that you did sit still and you did heal and you did work on yourself. Here we go. Look, straight after we had the lamb. Look at the picture. Jesus. My cards never lie. Look, Jesus and the little lambs. And you are. And you're God's child as well. So what you've got to do now is make time to work, but you also need to rest as well. And you need to play too. I think a lot of you might have forgotten how to play. But yeah, what the angels are asking you is to just fill yourself with laughter. Maybe sing. You might like singing. Just be more joyful. Get out a bit more. Maybe go and visit some places. You might want to go and visit some cathedrals or some really famous landmarks. Or just go to different cities. You might like poppies. You might have poppy fields near you, or you could live in the country, but I'm feeling earth again. I'm feeling an earth sign. So, yeah, what the angels are asking you to do is basically take time for yourself. Don't work too hard because you still need to rest. Maybe you need to pull yourself away from work a little bit and spend some more time on yourself. They're lovely, aren't they, them cards? But, yeah, I feel like you're coming out of yourself more now, and I do. Yeah, you're embracing life now and you are. I feel you are literally like trying to create a life for yourself, which is good. And I know it's hard sometimes, but it's very good. Right, you need to speak words of love. You need to speak words of love. So don't give up on love, guys. This could be a water card, a water zone, because we've got a lady sitting by the sea. And it is a full moon at the moment as well, guys, and it is. I feel you're a lot stronger now than you used to be. Maybe you like looking up into the stars. 
and speak out maybe speak out on how you love yourself and how you want to love other people just be close to the lord and believe that his power is strong and i just heard in my head that god is moving mountains for you and we had that here about the mountains as well i do feel like that i feel like you have climbed a mountain because you saw the mountain ahead and you just gave it your all and you did and now you're over that mountain now guys and you can sit back and relax and just don't give up on love that's what i feel like saying to you like the angels want you to speak words of love like be kind as well and be loving and it's a good time for you now guys it's a perfect time now to maybe even think about love and if you don't want a relationship just think about loving other people and sharing your love with other people and it is good to give your love to. That's all I'm here for, guys, is just to share the love. Right, you've got an opportunity to forgive here, guys. So we've got opportunity to forgive. <laughs> the little, look at the little koalas. Like, they're gorgeous, aren't they? You might like koalas. So you've got the opportunity to forgive now. I feel like you've got your full wings as an angel, and you have. You're an earth angel for definite. You might love the colour green, or aqua might be a birth colour for you. But the situation you're in now is just bringing you the opportunity to heal. So you've done a lot of healing, and through your healing, you've grown a lot, and you have. So you need to release like negative patterns. So if you are stuck in any negative patterns, just try... And have a look inwards and see what, why you are still in them. And just hold the intention of seeing the other person's inner divine light and goodness, all right? Because everyone's got a little bit of good in them. And then what you can do is the angels then say that they will help you release unforgiving thoughts. And any feelings you have or any bad energies. And what they'll do is lift you higher to a place of peace. So then you can be more compassionate. Because forgiving is for you guys. It's not for the other person. It just makes you feel better when you forgive someone. And um, it might be holding you back where you feel like you can't forgive someone. But if you did forgive, then you would heal quicker and grow into a better person. And just release the negative thoughts of this person. Or your past if it's not a person. Because if you hold on to it, it will just make you feel bitter, and it will. But yeah, the angels are going to help you now to release unforgiving thoughts. So ask the angels as well to say, like, just say to them, can you release any thoughts I have? I did it when I was on my awakening. And I said, I don't want any thoughts of my ex. I don't want to love my ex anymore, and I don't. And I had no memories of him whatsoever. They come back a little while after, but um, they took all my memories away. So I couldn't remember even the couple of good times that I had. Look at the wings, they're massive. You might live in Australia, I'm feeling, with the um, koala bears there. I'm feeling, I am feeling an Australian vibe. So we will see. So some of you might be stuck in a little bit of a daydream at the moment. Maybe you are daydreaming about days gone by, I feel like saying. Yeah, look, it's come out again, guys. So you need to let go now. You need to let your past go. And you do. Some of you might be holding on to your past a little bit um, too much. It might be a little bit of a burden. Yeah, the burden. Yeah, it could be of the past. Because the path has made you very weary and it has. And the angels are just saying that it's time to put the burden down, guys. And it is. And just see it as a lesson. I'm just trying to read the card as well as the words. You just need to leave it all behind now, guys, and you do. And you don't need it in your life anymore. You don't. You don't need it. And I don't think you want it either. I feel like you want it gone now, and you do. So try and let the past go if you can. I know it's hard, but it will make you feel a lot better, and it will help you heal. And it is time now. It's time to um, set this burden down. It is. Yeah, just keep the lessons and the love that you had from this person and just let it go, guys. Just let it go now. 
I think we need to. That's why I got guided to do this because um, I feel a lot of us with tarot, we do get stuck in the past, me included. I think I've kept myself stuck more than I should have done watching tarot when I was healing. That's why I pulled myself away from it because um, you could watch tarot again next year and it's still going to be the same. And um, the energy just will hang on and hang on. Because these people won't change, but you need to change and you do. Right, so you have guidance from your angels and you do. Now you could have an angel that literally is guiding through, like guiding you through, sorry, to be very artistic. Maybe helping you to write a journal or helping you write a book and they're leading the way and they are it could be even an ancestor of yours it could have been a past partner that passed over but um you definitely look you've got angel behind you all the way so whatever you want to create you have got the support very loving this card you could i really feel like you could be an artist or you might like painting but yeah, you're being trustworthy now to the guidance that you're getting from your angels. So the angels are saying that you've received a wonderful idea as an answer to your prayers. So this idea is like real and trustworthy, okay? And you can trust it because it's from your angels. So now you know you can safely move forward with whatever you're thinking about. If it's a project, but you need to know that the angels are with you like every step of the way. All you need to do is just ask and be more open to receiving the angel's support. So anything you need, like related to an idea, just ask your angels and they will be there. So if you feel like you want to start a book or you want to start journaling, you want to start teaching, you might just want to be more creative. Maybe you want to write a letter to somebody just to say your peace I'm feeling and let it go and like let it stop being a burden maybe you writing a letter to someone might actually help you let go of this person I'm feeling and I am on that card or just write down your feelings even if you don't want to send it to this person just write down how you feel how it hurt you yeah because you've definitely got a project that you're creating and you have so you could be quite musical as well somebody watching you might play an instrument and the angels actually really love it because you're sending the waves of the music and the love and she's playing a harp so that's normally love yeah because your soul longs to express yourself now and you really are going to say it again but being creative the angels are guiding you and they are to infuse your artistic nature so someone watching me today you are very art lot like artistic so you could be into music dancing painting so your artistry and creativity can come into your own life if you do this so if you express yourself in a creative way it'll make you feel more alive and it will and you'll get more excited about life and it could reignite a passion as well like towards your life to make you feel better so a lot of you need to be a lot more um artistic right so you need to notice the signs guys you need to notice the signs now so your angels are just telling you yes the signs you've been receiving are heaven sent okay guys oh look what did i say to you a little while ago about feathers my angels kept telling me they was dropping feathers for you everywhere and it says yes we do drop feathers even if you're finding coins as well guys so there's other signs as well upon your path but what you need to do is just remind yourself that you are loved okay and you are and the angels like will never leave you alone and they won't so you might be finding like loose coins on the road you could be finding like pieces of puzzles i'm getting as well or just whatever you're finding you think oh what's that the angels are leaving it for you and it's just a sign that they love you so yeah feathers we said about feathers didn't we a little while ago so they are signs upon your path that you're walking just to remind you that you're loved and that you're never alone guys okay i really like that so you need to just let go of the past because you have got an opportunity to forgive now. I think forgiving would be good for you. 
maybe you need to speak your words on how you did love this person how much it hurt like i said you don't have to send it just do it and burn it that's what i used to do i just wrote down how much my ex hurt me and i was crying when i wrote it and i did this a couple of years ago and then i just went to the forest and i burnt it and i left it there and it felt like it had been released from me and taken away but yeah, I really do like them cards there. So what I'm going to do is pull another one of these. So yeah, you could be a water sign, guys, or an earth sign. And you might be connecting there with the water. You might like the sea. Some of you might live by the sea. Yeah, a lot of you, I feel like you might like the sea. You might want to go swimming or just go and maybe you like fishing or you want to go and go and do a bit of fishing. But you need to connect with the water, guys, and you do. So even if you go sit by the water, or like I said, go swim in the water, maybe that would be a good place for you to feel comfortable and relax. But yeah, just see everything now through the eyes of love. Just love yourself. Love everything around you. Love being alive, guys. And just look forward to your future because you're not on your own. This is a message from your angels. I, like I said, I was guided to do it like this, guys. So in case any of you feel a bit lonely today, yeah, we've got water again, guys, and earth. So you're looking at life now from a very higher perspective, and you are. So you're soaring now, guys, and you are. You're soaring like an eagle. You may even be flying alone, I feel. But you're getting a lot of wisdom, and that's the wisest thing that you can do. You're, you've got a lot of wisdom from this, and you have, where you've soared so high. And you're very connected with your angels, and you are, but you are flying high. I feel like that song, I can fly higher than an eagle. You are the wings, um, the wind beneath my wings. You might like that song. It might resonate with you. You might be looking down on your life now from a higher perspective because you are higher up in life. And you know that you've like come to a place where you can look down at everything. And now you know that you need to forgive and maybe you do need to write things down, like I said, and let things go. Start being more creative and just enjoy your life and enjoy your light within. And make sure you still got to do your work, obviously. Work on your healing, work on yourself. But you still need to rest. You need to take time out for you. And also, have some fun as well. And I know some of you probably find it hard having fun. Because it is sometimes hard to get back out there. But you don't know until you try. So let's have a look at the healing energy from the divine, okay, guys? So balance. So you're more balanced now. You're finding balance between each um, sphere of your life. So now you're a master of your life now, guys, and you are. I think you've mastered what to do with yourself, how to do it, how to think. But you also need to nourish yourself. So that's spiritually and physically. So some of you need to nourish yourself more by drinking more water, um, eating more vegetables, eating more fruit. And you just need to bring more love to your life now by fulfilling your needs of your body because that will fulfill the needs of your soul, guys, okay? So try and balance things out a bit more if you can. Like probably the way you're eating. You're probably doing it already and just finding balance in your life. But yeah, I think you have mastered this, and you have. And now you're a master of your own destiny, I just heard. And if you're a man, you're definitely a master anyway. Right, let's see, Angel. Whoa, we've got quite a few popping out here. So you're taking positive action now, and you are. Right, so you're focusing more on yourself. We've got yourself twice here. So you're taking more positive action. You might like purple. You could be a healer. You could still be healing, guys. But you need to focus more on, like, you and the beauty within you. And just find some silence around you. Maybe sit quiet for a little while. And, um... Yeah, just basically, it says... That you live and honour the present by doing what you can do now. And you can't change some things and you can't. So what you need to do is let it go to God, guys. And ask God to take care of all your worries or things that you can't change. Just give it to the Lord. But you are taking action now and it's more positive action. You might, like I said, you could be here. I'm feeling very healing on that card. 
So now you're learning to love yourself, and you are. So the angel's saying to you, basically, they know that you're learning to love yourself and that you're choosing now to see the beauty in you. Your wealth lies in, like, your nature, the way you are, and the potential that you've got, and you're transforming now all your weaknesses and strengths. And you're realising now that you are a being of light, and you are, and you're allowing yourself to shine now because you know that you can. And that's, that's really good because you need to. You are a light. And you're a being of light, guys, and you are. And you need to accept the divine energy that um, divine are giving you in your body. like Because every one of your cells now is guided by the divine. And it is. And it's just regenerating now. A lot of you might be crystallising now. But yeah, vitality. Green. You could love green as well. So I'm trying not to show you my nails because I need my nails doing. They look awful today. But yeah, just be a being of light and accept the divine energy that's in your body, all right? You definitely are highly protected by divine. But yeah, learn to love yourself. And you are beautiful, guys. And you are. And you have a lovely nature. And you do. And you've got loads of potential now because you've learnt this lesson. And you have. And you're a lot more loving now. And like I said, I think a lot of you need to rest. But also, like do a little bit something for a bit of fun as well maybe you've forgotten how to have fun my telly's just gone off it always does this sorry guys oh look no it won't move it's frozen that's a, there's a um, sign from the angels oh well sorry guys i can't even turn it off <laughs> we got an interruption oh typical right so it always happens because it's the energy coming through from your angels so I'm going to quickly do you a past life just to see what's bothering you from the past. We'll see what's there and what's, what's getting in the way or what you need to change. Because I was guided to do this as well at the end. Whoa. So some of you need to get over a love and you do. Oh, I've gone really goosey, guys. I have gone really goosey. So some of you, I feel you might be feeling about leaving now where you are. Or I feel you might be thinking about leaving all this baggage behind. You could be moving on to a new place. Or you could have just arrived at a new place. But I feel like now you might be ready to travel now as well. So you might want to leave and travel. You might want to go more up north or more down south. Like I said, you might have unpacked all that baggage. You might just want to leave that suitcase on the railway line and let the train go straight over it. But some of you might be feeling about becoming more off-grid, I'm getting. And you might want to get back into doing... Maybe you might want to do a bit of farming or you may want to go live back in the country like we said yesterday. And you could come from that kind of place. You might even want to run a farm or you might be getting a bit of land. But I feel like some of you just want to start travelling more now. This, I feel like this has stopped you before. You haven't been able to unpack your baggage and now you are. You're leaving stuff behind and you are. And you're moving forward and you're travelling forward now towards everything we just spoke about. Because this is the past. This is the past. I feel that's all your baggage in there, like from all your past hurt and you're just... Just leaving it. You probably already caught the train, love, and gone. <laughs> I'm being serious. But yeah, you might be feeling now like it's time to leave where you're living. I mean, read the card as it fits for you. You might have once had horses. Or you might have felt very alone in quite a big space. And maybe you didn't have friends near you or... You didn't have amenities near you, and now you feel like getting out of that and moving somewhere a bit more busy. You might want to move some bit more busy or a bit more quieter, but you might be leaving that behind. I feel like you've been grazing for a while, just every day, just trying to get through the day. But no, things are going to get better now, guys, and they are. Right, where's my little loved ones? Because we're going to finish on 30, so we're on 29... What are we on? 29.19. Oh, 9.9. And we've got three zeros up there, guys. So anyway, guys, thanks for all your messages. And thanks for all your support. I really do appreciate it. And like I said, I will change this up every now and again. This is new to me, so bear with me. But I need to read a lot more slower now and stop rushing. And I need to relax like you. 
and I think we need to move forward now and just we need to get out of this energy I mean it doesn't mean I'm never going to do a karmic read again but we need to know that just because their life stopped doesn't mean that yours has to I mean they're stuck and that's their karma but it's not your karma to be stuck your karma now is to move on Right, it's important right now, guys, just to take a step back and spend more time on your own, all right? You need to spend some time alone. Right, stop placing your focus on another person. What did we just say? It's resonating with what I've said. So this is from your angels, okay? So it's important now to take a step back, have a look what's happened, spend a little bit of time on your own. Instead of placing all your focus on another person, it's time now to give to yourself confirmation. Sorry if that's a bit blurry. So it's now time to give to you, all right? And love you. Look, love you. Have some love for yourself, okay, guys? Can I show you that picture? Is it nudie doody? No, look. Maybe you need to go and have a little lay down. You've got your angel wings wrapped around you and you're safe. All right, have a little think about things. Spend some time on your own. Decide where you want to go, what you want to do, all right? It'd be good to spend some time focusing on you and not on somebody else. So I'm doing this. I told you I was guided for a reason, guys. Right. You need to trust now, guys. This transformation, all right, is occurring now. And it is, all right? Transformation occurs through acceptance. So you need to accept what's happened, guys. Once you accept what's happened in this situation, it will automatically transform your life. And it will. And you need to trust this now, guys, all right? It's all changing now, and it is. And accept it now. Just accept what's happened and that you are transforming, okay? And you're going to be manifesting miracles now, guys, and you are. Because your, <laughs> your dream, I feel like crying, do you know that? Your dream is now, guys, going to become your reality, and it is. So whatever you've dreamt about now is going to be real. And trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance, okay? And continue to follow the guidance of your angels and carry on manifesting, guys, all right? Manifest your miracles, yeah? Your life's going to change, and it is. Yeah, because you've surrendered. And at times, you have to surrender. You've got to surrender the old. What do we say, look, about the baggage? You've got to surrender the old for something new. And if before something new can enter your life, you need to let go and it will work out and it will. And that's what you're doing. You're letting go now, guys, and moving on. You're surrendering all this old baggage and this old person, this old situation or this job, whatever the case may be, all right? You're traveling now. You're leaving the old you behind, okay? And you're moving forward. Right, guys, I'm going to leave it there, okay? And I really wish you a beautiful day. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm guided by my angels. Thank you, angels. If you want this book, I know a couple of you have bought this book. It's from Amazon, and it's called 365 Days of Prayer for Women. It is an absolutely beautiful book, and it doesn't have to be for women. And it's leather, and it feels like the Bible, and it's a really lovely book. It's got all the prayers of every day of the year, and you will never get bored of this. And you won't. So I'm going to have a random little rest a while. Did we have that last time? I might do it though. Let me see and put my finger there. See what else we can get. Now, do you know what? It went on that. So I'm going to do this for you. Because I like this prayer as well, guys. So take a deep breath and we'll do this prayer. If you get the prayer book, we can read it together. Right. All who have entered into God's rest have rested from their labours. So you might have been working really hard, guys, all right? Just as God did creating the world. So, Lord, I'm tired. I'm racing towards some things as I run from others. <laughs> How fitting, guys. I'm climbing a hill while dodging boulders as they fall. I need a respite from the things the world heaves towards me, from the things... I pull upon myself. Some days I'm not even sure which is which. I'm coming to rest a while with you, Lord. You give supernatural strength in body and in soul. And that is exactly what I need. Draw me into your peace, God, under your protection. Even if I can't stop all my labour, I know I'll find relief. 
Isn't that lovely? Some of you might be told this has resonated with the rest of the cards. So you might be working hard, you might be working hard on yourself, not just the job. And you might need to pull back a bit now. Like they said, the angel said, spend some time on your own, reflecting, ask them to get rid of your past, because we're going to let it go now, guys. And we are, because you're moving forward and you are. Go and have a bit of God time. Do you know what I say? And I'm tingling all over, guys. It's time to go in God's waiting room for a little bit. Go and have a little chat with God. Go and be in his hands. I love that. I always want to say, like, I'm in God's hands. Go and go and lay in God's hands for a little while and be under his protection. And even if you can't stop all the work, you can just for a little moment just to find a little bit of relief in God, and you can. So, guys, yeah, my little darlings, go rest a little while, okay? There's no harm in resting. There's not. So I love you guys. Have a beautiful day. I'll be back on soon. Let me know if you like the reads, all right? And because I do like to change things up because I can get bored. And I do things when I'm guided because the negative energy, it's not good for our soul. And it's not, guys. It really isn't. And like I said, I won't not do them all together. But I want you to move forward. And I want us to move forward. And I want us to get more positive. And I want us to have a laugh and a giggle and be silly again, yeah? Because it's all getting a little bit too, um, like, karmic-y. All right? So just believe in fairy tales, guys. Please do. And just dance around a little bit and twirl and girls, straighten your tiara. Guys, straighten your crowns, all right? And I love you. Have a beautiful day, all right? Namaste, guys. Mwah.